Hello there, Saber fans. Han Solo here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting and hopefully a very informative video for you guys. In front of me I have six different lightsabers here. All are equipped with a different soundboard and have different electronics, and they were purchased from different companies. And today I will be comparing them all on their smooth swing function. Throughout this video, I will be doing quick demos of each of the soundboards and their smooth swing function. And uh, you guys can determine for yourselves which one sounds the best and which one has the best uh, sound quality, quality to you. In my opinion, they're all great and uh, they have a lot of uh, great things about them, and, uh, but they're also all very different. So I will let you guys decide for yourselves which ones you like best, which one sounds best to you. I will also talk very briefly about each Sabre and uh, what electronics they all have, uh, the company that I purchased the Sabre from, and uh, the price of the Sabre uh, when I purchased it. So my goal here with this channel is to help you guys uh, to make an informed purchase on uh, where will you buy your next uh, lightsaber and uh, what will it be. So uh, I'm hoping with the information I provide you guys today and the demo and comparison of the smooth swing on these sabers and uh, with the price and everything, I, I hope that will help you guys to make uh, an informed decision on your next lightsaber purchase. So why don't we just uh, dive right into this video and get started. Saber collectors out there, uh, I just want to briefly talk about what Smooth Swing is to start. Uh, smooth Swing right now is basically the pinnacle of uh, lightsaber sound technology. It's uh, the most realistic lightsaber sound that you can possibly get right now. And uh, what the Smooth Swing is, it's basically the sound of the saber will follow your motion pretty much exactly. And it's incredibly realistic. When you swing the saber really fast, it will make a louder, it will produce a louder sound. When you swing the saber very gently and slowly, it will produce a more quiet sound. And you guys will get a feel for uh, the, the motions and the sounds when I do the quick demos throughout this video. But right now, uh, Smooth Swing is about as good as it gets for lightsaber sounds. Not every lightsaber company or lightsaber has smooth swing capabilities. Now today most of them do, but uh, trust me guys, when you purchase a lightsaber that has smooth swing, you will not want to go back to the old classic swing. Just, you won't. The, the smooth swing is so realistic, so awesome, and, and you just won't be able to go back. But uh, first off, I have uh, this lightsaber here. This is a lightsaber from uh, the Bendu Armory. And this lightsaber is equipped with the CFX soundboard. So Crystal Focus 10. And uh, the CFX is basically the top dog right now uh, for lightsaber soundboards. They are like number one for sound quality and also uh, user friendliness, which is also very important. Uh, their soundboards are very easy to configure and customize and to add your own sound fonts, which makes this uh, soundboard so much better. It's incredible. And I will just give you guys a quick demo of it right now so you can uh, hear how it sounds and everything else. And actually, wait, before I do that, this Sabre cost. Uh, 375 US dollars. So that's what I pay for this saber and now you can uh, hear how it sounds. Okay guys, here is the CFX soundboard.
Okay, next up I have here the Aurora Smart Saber from Electrum Saber Crafts. So uh, Electrum Saber Crafts is a great lightsaber company and they produce their own soundboard called Diadium 3. Now this soundboard in my opinion is uh, fantastic, it's great, maybe not quite at CFX level but uh, I'll let you guys decide for yourselves in a minute when I do a quick demo. But uh, so yeah, it's equipped with uh, the Diadium 3, their own soundboard, which is really nice. It's still very user friendly and things like that. It does have a, a great smooth swing. And uh, this Saber cost me 349 US dollars. So let's hear how it sounds. Okay, here is the Diadium 3 soundboard from Electrum Sabercrafts. next saber that I have here is a nifty little saber that surprised the heck out of me and just blew my mind. This is uh, the Master Q Flight lightsaber from the POC store. It has the, the flight electronics and flight soundboard. And uh, this is my first and only ever saber with the flight soundboard. It uh, has smooth swing capabilities and uh, it's a, a great user-friendly soundboard. It has six different uh, pre-installed sound fonts, which you can also customize, but you can't have any more than six sound fonts on here. But uh, this Sabre I purchased from the POC store. I paid 179 US dollars for this lightsaber. Very, very affordable. And the smooth swing on this is just great. Uh, it's an incredible value, that price, and uh, the, the, fun the features that you get with this and the smooth swing function is really good for that price. So I'll let you guys hear this saber now. Check it out. Here is the flight soundboard. Now this soundboard isn't as loud as some of the other ones that I have but it still produces a great and phenomenal sound, a very nice smooth swing sound. right along. This saber here is uh, from uh, Dark Wolf Custom Sabers. It is equipped with their uh, RGBX Eco Smooth Swing soundboard. It's a very, very nice soundboard, very affordable. Um, it has uh, what's called Eco Smooth Swing, so it's smooth swing but just a uh, a much more affordable soundboard. It comes with nine pre-installed Star Wars character sound fonts and uh, the smooth swing actually does sound really really nice. Now this Sabre uh, cost me about three hundred and ten dollars but they have many many more Sabres on their website for sale with this exact same soundboard that are, are much more affordable. You can get sabers as low as like $80, I think, on their website with this soundboard. This hilt cost me a lot more because it's a, a, a specialty hilt, it's a character hilt. Some of you might recognize this hilt, but, uh, and I actually haven't done a review on this hilt yet, which I will be doing and putting out very, very soon, I hope, so stay tuned for the, the full in-depth review video of this hilt and this saber. 
And uh, so stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You won't want to miss the review on this one. This is a great saber. And uh, so let's hear it and check it out. This is the RGBX Eco Smooth Swing Soundboard. Now, this lightsaber here is equipped with the Profi soundboard. Now, many of you may have heard of that soundboard. They're also one of the top best soundboards out there, uh, certainly in competition with the CFX for sure, but uh, they lose points big time on their user friendliness, but uh, the sound quality is still phenomenal. This lightsaber has the the Profi version 2.2 and uh, I purchased this lightsaber from the POC store and uh, this lightsaber was $369 I believe so for a, a Profi saber that also is equipped with a NeoPixel blade uh, that's an incredible value, an incredible deal for a profi board. And uh, in my opinion, anyways, that's a great price. And so let's, uh, let's hear the profi. Let's check this one out. This is the profi version 2.2 soundboard. Last but certainly not least, here is another lightsaber actually from the POC store, but again this is equipped with a different soundboard. This one has uh, their own uh, Asteria soundboard, which is uh, a much more user-friendly soundboard than the, the Profi. It's very similar to uh, CFX and those type soundboards. It's uh, very user-friendly, which is nice, and it still produces a great sound quality. And it's actually usually a little bit cheaper than their Profi that they offer at the POC store. Now this Sabre was $449. And the reason it was uh, much more expensive than this one is because the hilt is much more expensive, not the soundboard. This empty hilt, it was $239, whereas this hilt, if you were to purchase it empty, was only $139. So, uh... The Asteria is typically cheaper than the Profi that they offer, but still a great soundboard, and it, it gains points big time for me because of the user friendliness. And uh, the smooth swing is great, so let's hear this one. The Asteria soundboard. that pretty much does it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below uh, what soundboard sounded best to you. Which one has the best uh, smooth swing function? And uh, I'm hoping that uh, this was very informative for you guys. A, a great comparison video. And uh, 
how each of these soundboards sound and the smooth swing and whatnot. And hopefully uh, you will be better prepared to uh, make your next lightsaber purchase. And uh, that's all I have for today, guys. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There will be a lot more uh, Star Wars and lightsaber related content coming soon. Thanks guys, and may the Force be with you.